mergers increase safety of the bond holders by increasing the value of their bonds but it hurts the stockholders although mergers allow for diversification which in turn reduces the volatility in the value of the combined firm more than volatility is in the sum of the values of the individual firms participating in the process of merger to understand this decrease in the volatility let take an example as a base case where we have two firms firm a and b and the acquirer is the firm a who is acquiring the firm b there are pre merger two states with equal pro probabilities of 50% each so if we see in the uh, red box where the combined firms market value is 75 million uh, dollars assuming no synergy effect and b stockholders receive stock in the new firm titled as ab equal to the b's stand alone market value of 25 this means that if b's shareholders are compensating are compensated for the merger in the stocks of the new firm then the value of the new firm's stock is exactly equal to the value of the b firm's stock at present the a's post merger value is 50 dollar and this is basically the difference between the value of the combined firm which is 75 dollars and the uh, and the value of the stock given to the shareholders of b which is 25 dollars so it leaves nothing for the firm a as well so we see that the both firms a and b's stockholders are indifferent in this merger attempt because after merger the value of their holdings is equal to the value of their holdings which is pre merger now we use the case of debt and here we see again two states uh, we see that in if a is default in state 2 its debt has market value of 20 dollars so the bond holders of firm a will receive only 20 dollars in this case the a's average value is 25 dollars whereas if b gets a default in situation a or state 1 its debt market value is 10 dollars its bond holders will receive only 10 dollars leaving the market value of the firm at a uh, 12.5 dollars as the debt's market value average market value so the sum of pre merger market value of a and b with respect to their equity and debt is a same value and that is 37.5 dollars now if the post merger combined value of ab firm is 75 dollars then what will be the effect of the merger on the bond holders let's see we see that post merger combined value of the debt is 45 dollars whereas the pre merger value of this debt is 37.5 dollars so there is a value enhancement in the values of the debt and that is 7.5 dollars so bond holders are gaining what about mergers effect on the stockholders we see that post merger combined value of equity of both the firm is 30 dollar whereas pre merger the combined value of both of the firms was 37.5 dollars so in this situation the stockholders are losing by 7. Five dollars. So we see that the loss of stockholders in this merger attempt is equal to the gain of bond holders. But the firm or the combined firm is gaining no benefit at all. So what does this transfer of value occur, or how this transfer of value has occurred? see that separately b does not guarantee a's debt after merger bond holders can use cash flows of the combined firm ab 
this means that individually the debt holders of a has no guarantee from the debt holder from the owners of b firm but when both of the firms are combined in the merger the cash flows of the b can be cash flows of the combined firm which is ab can be used to pay off the debt of the firm a this form of mutual guarantee is generally termed as co-insurance effect in co-insurance effect this makes the debt less risky and more valuable than before merger the bondholders gain at the cost to the stockholders under this co-insurance effect which means that loss of the equity holders is exactly equal to the gain of the debt holders due to the non-availability of the synergy effect then question arises that how shareholders can reduce their loss from the co-insurance effect see that firm a may retire its debt before merger announcements date and it can reissue an equal amount of debt after the merger and this refinancing of debt retired at the low pre-merger price can neutralize the effect of co-insurance to the stockhold bondholders similarly the new firm a b can issue more debt after the merger because of two reasons the first is that the interest tax shield from new corporate debt will raise the combined value of the new firm a b and the post mergers increased debt will raise the probability of financial distress thus it will reduce the bondholders gain from the co-insurance effect